Hey there, Capricorn. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of December 18th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrodar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have coming up here for you at this time. Start off with the Ten of Spades. So um, some of you could be going through some sort of transformation or changing something that you're doing at this time. Um, I would also say that I feel like for a lot of you it could be a quick change in the work situation. Not the normal card that this, you know, that's not normally what this card means. But um, I do feel like this is referencing some sort of quick financial change on your part. Um, it does feel like a positive change. Again, this is kind of like the death card in the Tarot, I always say. Um, not exactly, but kind of. And so I do think that it can lead to very positive changes. Um, for you. It's also a card of travel, and you also have the Six of Hearts, another card that can represent like traveling or moving around and things like that. Next, you have the Five of Diamonds. Great card for starting something new, anything new that you want, and it's also an amazing card for selling things. I think that uh, if you need extra cash at this time, it would be a great time to sell things that you have. Maybe you have like extra stuff that you don't need anymore in your home or something along those lines. And this card says it would be a great time for you to look at selling extra things that you no longer need because, again, there could be a lot of money there. It's also a card of like literally just selling stuff. So um, you could be in sales or um, it could say that maybe a sales position would be really good for you at this time. So definitely something to think about. Uh, even if you're retired, this can represent uh, positive financial changes. So I do like to see this card for you. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Clubs. Um, I feel like you're focused on the future. This can also be a card of appearances. Um, I do feel like there's been this message all year for Capricorn of needing to focus on how you appear to other people. Um, and again, that's going to be different for everybody because you know we all need to maybe appear in different ways, right? Um, so again, this card has a lot to do with appearances. And it has to do with like getting what you want. So needing to appear in certain ways at, at different times, needing to learn how to be more of like a chameleon almost uh, to get what you want. And again, this doesn't mean being a fake person or, or being deceptive or anything like that. It just means, you know, making sure that you present yourself in the proper way, you know, to get a job, to get a date, to, you know, get anything that you want. So a lot of you could be very focused on that at this time uh, with this card. Next, you have the Jack of Clubs. Uh, same thing, uh, pretty much the same energy there. Um, this card is a little different though it says don't beat yourself up for your past failures or for anything you've done in the past um, again with this retrograde i think it's bringing up a lot of stuff that has happened over the past two and a half years with uh, saturn and sagittarius and uh more specifically and you know i think that um you know that a lot of the stuff could be coming in we're thinking about past failures or past things that came in and we could be having like a lot of concerns about that or we could be overly worried or we could be beating ourselves up again you know with about these things so you know again try to let that stuff go so you don't um you know hurt yourself too much and, and again, just don't beat yourself up because things are going to be different in the future. That's a very good card for the future. It's a very good card for looking into the future and uh, seeing how you can change it. So that's what I would focus on. Next, you have the Six of Hearts. Um, this card is a card of karmic attraction. So um, some of you could be meeting somebody at this time. Some of you could be meeting somebody who becomes very important to you at this time love-wise um, if you're single. And if you're not single, this is a very good card of like kind of like realizing a dream or um, kind of like being on a path. I always say sixes represent being on the right path. You know, straight path down the middle now this card here is kind of like a card that's considered a card of destiny card of being in line with your destiny being in line with what you're supposed to be doing at this time so it says you're exactly in the right place at the right time and it's definitely a very good card for that Finally, and with the Three of Diamonds, be careful of your paperwork this week. Um, yeah, I mean, Mercury Retrograde, you know, typical. Uh, just This card just says double-check all your paperwork. It doesn't say anything bad is going to happen. It just says don't allow something to happen at this time. Don't allow your paperwork to get mixed up uh, because, you know, that could lead to some issues. But looks like a great week for you, I have to say. Definitely think there could be a lot of good stuff going on. So thank you for watching, and enjoy your week.